Up she goes. Heads is the call. It is a head. A head score. It is a head. Well, Shoaib, you won the toss. What have you decided? We bowl first. You heard how they lined up. India deciding to go through with a team that would have played the game against Scotland. A comeback for Irfan Patan. Five full bowlers there. Oh, that's a cracking delivery. You heard Ramiz Raja saying he's got a good track record against the uh, left-handers. He's taken it. Still to get off the mark, not quite getting it in the middle of the bat, but uh, good reactions from Mohammad Asif. Takes it on the second attempt, and Pakistan have drawn first blood. Zero for one, India. First runs on the ball. India one for one. That's flicked away in style. First boundary of the game. That's typical Sevak. Uttapa getting into the act. We'll get a couple for it. This outfield will not be at its quickest because we've had a lot of rain in the last 48 hours. Bounded in, off the inside edge. Two wickets in two overs for Asif. He struck twice. India in a spot of bother. Nine for two. The conditions are right for Asif, really. Really, a nothing shot from Sevag. Wasn't uh, the right shot to play. He's got that away. And it's not that quick an outfield, but it'll still reach the boundary. 14 for two after three. That's a good strike. That's where he's good, Utapa. Doesn't mind taking the aerial route, but uh, he's at his best when he looks to play straight. That's chipped in the air. Should be taken. It's off the leading edge. Yugraj goes. Shoaib Malik, the captain, making no mistake. Trying to work the ball away towards the leg side, leading edge, no problems for Shoaib Malik, a lot of problems for India. Really was, uh, in the end, turned out to be a reckless effort. Instead of playing straight towards the offside or straight back, turn the bat towards the leg side and uh, an easy take for the Pakistani captain. And Dinesh Karthik comes out to the middle. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's a brave shot from Karthik to get off the mark. And even Asif applauds that. That's crashed away. Gave himself a bit of room and smashed it through the offside. Good hit from Karthik. Aggressive intent is being shown to the bowler. It's called it wide. It's too high. Too high. Got him! There you go, says Mohamed Asif, and the ploy of giving him the extra over has worked. Not only he has swung the ball around, but he got the bounce as well. Once again, inside edge onto the off stump. That's a familiar fashion how Mohammad Asif gets his wickets. Likes to nip the ball back into the batsman and once again rewarded. Fight on his hands for Dhoni. That's what happens if you do. Nine over is gone, and India sneak a second run and well run, Dhoni. 47 for four. Yeah. That 
is a hit. That is a super hit. First one goes over the ropes. That's why they were leaving balls outside the off stump. They were showing respect. They have targeted Yasser Arafat. And that's what he has done so beautifully. Came down to the track with all the positivity and had hit the ball beautifully out of the ground. Maximum. He knew the baller was pissed, going to pitch the ball short and he was ready for it. Could hit the ball out of the middle of the bat. This is gone. This time he hasn't missed. You just get the feeling that there's a difference in pace and a slight difference in ability here. Arafat isn't doing too much off the deck. Gone, gone. And he has a very good quicker delivery. That's a good shot. No need to run for that. Superb placement from Utapa. Yes, he's been impressive. Uh, Utapa played. Uh, yeah. He got his hands to it, and that was firmly struck. Dhoni comes back for two. That's good. Uh, Goes again, uh, powerfully struck, beats the man at long off. Second boundary of the over. And Utapa on fire now, 49 from 36. And again, cutting it from the stumps. Uh, a good over for India, 12 runs of it, 12 gone, it's 82 for four. These are trying conditions, and he's batted exceptionally well. I think his shot selection has been good. Nathan Will goes past the outside edge, in fact, takes the outside edge. So Pakistan striking straight after the break. He's feeling for it, looking to run it down and getting the outside edge. Kamran Akmal making no mistake. That's a wicket Pakistan wanted because Uttapa was looking dangerous. Irfan Patan has come out to the middle. And this is a comeback for him. It's an inside edge to get off the mark. That's massive from Irfan Patan. Incredible hit. Well, that is a superb blow. He's airmailed that ball out of the ground. In cow corner, that's gone over the back of the stand, bounced out of the ground. Six to Earth and Patan. And... That's another massive hit, another six. Giving Shahid Afridi his own treatment. He's not worried about Afridi's variation. He's just down the wicket, no nonsense. Back to ball, straight in the crowd. He's gone. Patan's gone, going for a third one. Hundred, India, 111 for six. Well, Irfan Patan in the end, he was once again looking to uh, play an aggressive shot, then had to check it in the end because of the variation that was produced by Afridi. It's a great shot from the Indian captain, Hinder Singh Dhoni, as the rain comes down, the straight drive. But he had no chance in the end because this was expertly hit, beautiful shot from Mahinder Singh Dhoni in this inning so far. He hasn't taken a lot of risk. It takes it flat. Miss Umar goes stretched. Just helping it on its way. Down to long leg and going flat straight into the advertising boards. What a strike. Oh, Big appeal from the keeper. Cameron Ack now, but the bowler didn't go up. Oh. 
Oh, just come back and Shiva Freedy has taken a wicket with his first ball after the rain break. So disaster for India, Harbhajan Singh. This is what can happen to a batting side when uh, there is a pause. First ball after the break. That's a wonderful strike from Ajit Dagarka. Now this is his natural length, which is back of the length. He can also bowl Yorkers. I think the idea is really now to uh, get the length provided the width to the uh, Indian batsman. Ajit Agarkar is a very handy bat. Avoided Miss Balhak in the deep. Really wind it up. Well, this is not good cricket from Umar Gul. Extremely efficient stuff from Ajit Agarkar. Someone has got to knock uh, some sense into Umar Gul. Well, the norm in this stage is to bowl the ball in the block hole, settle for one a ball. That's standard practice at the end of any one-day game, 2020 or 50 over game. If you bowl length, you give the batsman the opportunity to get his arms through it. It can go leg side, it can go off side, it can fly anywhere. That's up in the air. Will this be taken? It's a wet ball and clearly picked up by Yunus Khan. They had their best fielder patrolling the boundary line. Slice that hit, it didn't come off the middle of the stick. With rain falling, it was a quality catch from Yunus Khan. He's a safe fielder. And Dhoni really had to go for the big hit. Didn't middle it. And he's out. Direct hit and he's gone. Karman Akmal hitting the bullseye and hit it when it mattered most. 20 overs ball, India 9 down, 141. And Pakistan can afford a smile because uh, they were very, very efficient in the field. Straight away, getting the ball to move away from the left handed batsman. In the air, in the gap, and the first boundary. Imran Nazir is off the mark with style. That's a wide delivery and a no ball. Imran Nazir can have a free go at this ball. No chance of getting out. Well, that was a slow delivery. Well spotted by Imran Nazir, but the execution wasn't that great. Not quite middling the ball, getting the inside edge. And three runs. It was just a matter of time. The way he was swinging his bat, one good delivery was always going to do the trick. First wicket for the Indian. Pakistan 12 for one. It looks terrible, this. What sort of a shot that was, and especially from an opener. Any aspiring young opener should look at that one. And Cameron Atwell, the wicketkeeper, coming in at three. Well, And the bowler is not learning. Once again, testing the batsman with a short pitch delivery. And this time, the result is different. It's six runs. <laughs> Nicely played. Full toss on his toes and nicely worked away for four runs. This will give a lot of confidence to Salman Bhatt. Oh, lovely drive. 
through the onside. Just pure timing from Salman Bhatt. And even though the outfield is just a little heavy because of rain, it was so well timed that the ball won the race from Ajita Gurkha. You can see really uh, it was timing and not uh, power because there was no follow through whatsoever. Excellent shot. Nicely placed by Salman but Malcolm Gambir uh, with the effort. It was Dinesh Karthik, in fact. Edge and taken by Dhoni. The finger has gone up. Salman Bhatt was struggling to counter that off stump line. In the end, he nicks one to Dhoni. Another wicket goes down. Pakistan now 44 for two. Trying to run the ball down to third man. Bending his back just a little and uh, not a great shot from Salman but He's on target. Chance. Direct hit. Got to go. This time it's you, Raj Singh. Kamran Akmal lost the clock. India have picked up another quick wicket. Getting Kamran Akmal run out. 47 for 3. Shweb Malik is the new man in. After uh, 8 overs with the white ball, it's a little bit difficult to swing the ball. So, Irfan Patan's not getting much movement, but at least uh, it's been a good over from the Indian point of view. No runs so far from the over. Bowled it inside edge. In fact, it hit the glove, and Irfan Patan is off the mark. This is good cricket from India. They've been very bright in the field. Well, getting a little more bounce there, uh, Irfan Patan. And yes, movement as well. And off the glove and a little bit of bat as well. I think he was ringing his gloves as he went off. Inside edging onto the uh, stumps. Irfan Patan, very happy. There he is. You can quite clearly see he's uh, hurt, Yunus Khan. Two wickets have gone down very quickly. Kamran Akmal, Yunus Khan, both in the hut. Short one's been put away by Shweb Malik for four. He's off the mark with a very good shot. That should release a bit of pressure. That'll run away as well. Doesn't matter how they come, but that was a fine delivery. Jeff Lawson's expression has changed somewhat harsher, isn't it? Well, that'll help. That'll help. They need more of those. 55 from 31 now. Right, Shoaib Malik, 20. Ms. Baul Haq, 19. Up. Fielder under it. Taken. Pakistan lose one more. They had to do that. And who knows, could this be a blessing in disguise? I'm not sure sure whether Jeff Lawson, the Pakistan coach, will be too unhappy with that because that allows Alfredi to the wicket. Pakistan, 87 for 5. That's up in the air. Akhar going underneath it and puts it down. That's adding insult to injury. Smash back past Akhar into the fence. That's on the air. Man coming underneath it. Dinesh Kartik making no mistake. And uh, the Turbinator gets his man. A pretty departs. It's number six that goes down for Pakistan. Pakistan just losing their way now. And that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. It's gone the distance as well. You saw in the game against Scotland. He played a very handy innings low down the order. He goes again, and then again he's found the gap. And will get the boundary. So good finish, six and a boundary to end the over. 18 gone, it's 113 for six.
So just two overs to go. Miss Paul Huck on strike. Ajit Akarkar into his final over. Let's heave the way on the onside. This is uh, some good uh, deliveries for Pakistan. Three, a six, a boundary, and now another boundary of the last three balls. 25 from level. That's clever. Very clever. Gets the boundary. Smart cricket by Ms. Bowler. He's keeping his cool. He's on 41 of just 30. For India or for Pakistan. Uh, just a single. What will help Pakistan is a boundary or a six of the first three balls. One has been bowled. That's a terrific shot. One bounce over the rope. It's seven needed from four. We despair on the other side. We'll go for one. Run for the second. You get it easily. Seven runs to get. Three balls to go. One needed for Pakistan. The scores are tied. Pakistan know they can't lose this. And like all India-Pakistan matches, this match has gone down to the wire. And don't forget that with that uh, shot, Miss Paul Huck has got a great half century, making room and driving the ball straight past mid-off. And now has the opportunity to finish things off for Pakistan. Once the single sent back, one to go, one run to get. Dhoni was aware they might go for the bye. And remember, tie would mean a bowl out. It will be five bowlers will bowl one ball each. Only the bowler and the keeper in that case, but just one needed for Pakistan. Miss bounce strike. They go for it. There's a chance of a run out. And he gets it. The match ends in a tie. What a finish to an India-Pakistan game. This game at top billing. And it's ended in that fashion. Neither team wins. Both teams go through to the Super 8, that's for sure. Just what the doctor ordered as far as the crowd was concerned. Have a look at the Indian team. Yes, they are delighted. Disappointment there for Pakistan because the last two deliveries were dot balls. In fact, the last delivery, Miss Paul Haq, who batted splendidly, was run out, wasn't quite able to get uh, that ball in the middle of the bat, and the ball just uh, trickling away to extra cover. Simple throw for the ball uh, for the uh, fielder to give to the bowler, and a tie. A little surprised, Dhoni is standing right back. It's, uh, it's sometimes better if he's right up next to the stumps. He hits. <laughs> India open their account. This is different. Well, this is uh, Arafat now for Pakistan. And he misses. <laughs> the crowd getting into it. What's the move there, Gucci? Mm -hmm. He's half Jan Singh going to go for the off spinner or the Dusra. He hits. 2 0, India. That's 2 0. Could be a. Just to remind you, this is cricket, not soccer. 2 0, India. <laughs> <laughs> and now the pressure really on Pakistan. What you've got to do is bowl it normally and back your ability. Absolutely right. Here goes Cole. Misses by a big win. It's 
still 2-0 India. Here's Otapa. He hits 3-0 India. Pakistan had to hit with all their remaining deliveries if they had to tie this. Missed it. India have won and have a look at the celebrations.